welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video, and today comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. We're taking a bit of an early look at two upcoming gold label DC Multiverse exclusives, which are, and we're going to turn our brains off for this one, the epitome of a store exclusive. You might want them, but probably not. Now, first and foremost, we have the Golden Age villain, The Rival. Sure, everyone remembers that. So if you want him, you can head over to Target. It's going to be the same exact DC Multiverse packaging. The rival hails from the Injustice Society, and he kind of looks like a Joker eyes dude, kind of sort of. More on that later. Here's the barcode. You can pre-order him now. I'll put the link down below. Look for him sometime end of the month, maybe April-ish. And then to continue on with the DC versus Vampires line, which again, if you have never read that comic book or are new new to the whole vampire sort of deal with the DC multiverse, it's loosely based. Basically, they're just taking the characters and then making them vampires. But this one will be a Walmart store exclusive, much like all the others. DC versus vampires on the side of the box and a non-vampiric Nightwing on the back side of the box. Here's the barcode for Nightwing. Again, look for him maybe towards the end of March, but well into April. Now over on my Instagram, I took a poll of who got the better store exclusive. Was it Target? Was it Walmart? And it seems everybody chose Nightwing. Although looking at the numbers, it's basically 50-50, right? But in other case, we're gonna see who the true winner is. But in the meantime, we're gonna sit back, we're gonna relax, we're gonna grab ourselves a nice hot cup of coffee. That is important. I tell you all the time, those are very key words to live by. Sometimes I'll say things in these videos and then you won't like it or I'll mispronounce something. The coffee is key, people. I just don't say this as a throwaway thing in order to deal with my videos sometimes. You're gonna need the coffee. <laughs> Anyways, we're taking a look at the brand new DC Multiverse Gold Label Store exclusives on the Target end, The Rival, and on the Walmart end, Vampire Nightwing by McFarlane Toys. Now, real quick, before we get started, as a heads up, even to some of you newbies out there, usually gold labels can really just be reissued figures with a new head, maybe a new parts piece, things like that. So in the case of Vampiric Nightwing, he really is the Nightwing who laughs, and then the original Better Than Batman Nightwing. We've seen this body a many times before. Over on the rival end, it's going to be basically Jay Garrick, which has seen two releases, Technically, the last Jay Garrick was a gold label, and now his villain counterpart is a gold label, so there you go. It's that figure. But here's everything out of the packaging. And I will say, for gold label exclusives, store exclusives, there's enough in the box, and thankfully it is a parts and pieces that work with the figures. You do get several hands with the rival. Big hands, let's point that out, but hands nonetheless. Creepy outstretched hands, which I see as he's running really fast. It's like a nightmare sequence, and you can't get away from him because he's just all grabby. So the hands work, but they're very big. <laughs> you do get the same exact flash effects we've seen a dozen times, a dozen colors, and there really is no right or wrong way to attach these. They're not bad, they've just got kind of tired, right? Let's move on to some different effects at some point. But if you get them in just the right position, the right pose, I guess that looks cool. And we can talk more about who the rival is, right? It's this guy. I'm sure everybody, when they first saw this revealed, was like, finally, right? It's a good reissue of Jay Garrick to make a new figure. And that's really all there is to it. The face is entirely too Jokerized. He's entirely too smiley. He's entirely too evil from the source material. It could have been a lot less evil looking. He's got the little wings on his little hat. He's got the electricity coming out of the eyes. I just wish they would have darkened more around the face. Maybe just had the smile visible. That would have been kind of cool. Now for the lightning bolts on his costume, it's a little bit misaligned or is that you kind of have to fidget with it to get it lined up properly, right? And then it doesn't really look right. Also, in certain lights, the pins for the elbows are a different color entirely. Can't really see it through the camera, but they are there. But yeah, see what I mean? You kind of have to bend him. He just doesn't look like a normal pose, right? To get it all aligned, because when you want to do it just in that normal sense, it offcuts 
the lightning bolt. You know what I mean? This is, again, one of those just turn your brains off if you want the rival of all characters. Well, they didn't put too much effort into it. We'll swap the heads and see if uh, Jay Garrick looks good in different colors. In terms of the articulation, again, same exact that we will see. Good for running poses. The rival is fine for what it is. <laughs> In terms of Vampire Nightwing, you get one extra hand, which is key to holding weapons. And thankfully, they did add the bit of blue that the hand needs, so that's good, right? Now, you do get a heart, and that is a nice accessory for Vampire Nightwing. You could say it's the heart of Bruce Wayne, because in the comic book, he punches through Batman's chest and essentially grabs his heart, right? So that's a nice throw in. And with the alternate hand that he does have, yes, it is a heart-holding hand, and it looks really good, even in the sense of other heart-holding action figures, of which now I have two. He can hang out with our buddy Violator, and they can talk about hearts and broken hearts and eaten hearts, and you can eat your heart out. So, the Screama Sticks, right? Those are definitely weapons that... Nightwing should come with. Now, in my last video, I did say that I don't like the term Eskrima in terms of the sticks themselves. It's nothing against what the Eskrima sticks are. It's just that I think that it would serve a purpose better of having them called night sticks. They could have also maybe put some blood on these night sticks as well, right? That way it looks like he's more a vampiric Nightwing because the blood effect is very few and far between. And it's not very vampiric, right, to be honest with you. In looking at the Nightwing figure, I would honestly tell you, from knowing the lore of vampires and zombies and everything else, that looks more like a zombie than anything. If he just had the fangs and then regular teeth, that would make a little bit more sense. They could be actually trying to mimic what you see in DC versus vampires, but then in that sense, they should have really pushed the vampiric envelope like they did with Green Lantern. You're gonna get the same exact articulation. There's nothing crazy here, and like I said, you got the little element of blood right there, and in pushing the envelope with the vampiric nature, they could have done the same with the blood, because it's literally just this spot, like they went, boop. <laughs> yes, his color scheme overall is very dark, but a lighter red, that would have been kind of cool, more of like that comic book pop spray of blood. He also has weapon storage for his Eskrima nightsticks, on the back as usual, right? So you can pose him reaching back and grabbing those. And no complaints there. I always like to see weapon storage, but my complaints really lie with this Nightwing, or at least the body type when we first saw this release. He has baby arms. It doesn't really work. But again, in turning my brain off and going, okay, this is just a vampire Nightwing. It goes with my other reissued, redecoed vampiric figures. Again, like the rival, it's fine for what it is. And in turning my brain off for this, yes, you can actually have a lot of fun on your DC Multiverse Vampire shelf. You can throw in some extra characters just for kicks, but yes, largely, these are a lot of fun. There's not too much put into them. Some do fare a lot better than others. So I would say going forward, as minuscule as let's say Robin was, Nightwing, eh, you're gonna have to top the Green Lantern. That is the numero uno to beat. And for the next one, I would definitely like to see them do that. Also, just in some randomness fun, I threw on these Action Comics number one Superman chains to my Necron, and that looks pretty good. And they hold really well, right? Now, in terms of swapping out heads between Jay Garrick and the rival, I would say that color scheme is a little bit better. The boots are not gonna be the exact, but Action Comics number one, Superman, you got Green Lantern, you got the new Batman from Detective Comics. That looks pretty cool. And over on the rival end, again, in thinking about the rival and going like, no, I'm good. But it really does aid in that sort of classic comic book villains along with all the other cool villains that we've amassed in our DC Multiverse collection thus far. And I know, there are a ton more villains, but those are the ones that I picked in terms of just, you have your hero, you have their designated villain, and that's a lot of fun. Well done, McFarlane Toys. And that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Gold Label Target Store Exclusive, The Rival, and the Gold Label Walmart Store Exclusive, 
Vampire Nightwing. These are the epitome of store exclusives. They don't add too much to your collection and they definitely don't detract. Unless you really like the vampire line or if you like obscure golden age flash villains, right? But the rival, in all honesty, I think will take the cake for me today. I'm gonna go with the rival over Nightwing because of the coolness he adds to my DC Comics character villain shell. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, yes, we are nearing the video for the two new Asriel Batman, blue and red. And then my order from the McFarland store came in for the Infinite Crisis Wave. So we'll be looking at that as well. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.